Hey, good morning everybody. This is DJ Chris to Electric and today we're going to be talking about hardware compressors and how to hook them up and connect them to your DAW. Um, today for the DAW we're going to be using Logic Pro 10, but you can use any uh, DAW you want. This is really easy interpreted to one or another. Um, this, use, this information will be useful for everybody. So go ahead and keep watching and I'm sure you'll learn something. So uh, for hardware today we're going to be using the DBX-166 and the really nice compressor by FMR Audio, a mom and pop shop actually out of um, Texas. And it might be argued that it's one of the best for the, the bang for the buck kind of compressor. So check that out, it's really awesome. Down here, we're gonna be running everything into the Focusrite 6i6, but as long as you have a couple inputs and outputs um, on your interface, whatever interface you may be using, I was using an Mbox Mini 3, um, then you're good to go. So this video is relevant to you. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna start here at the computer. All right. So jumping over here to the computer side, you're gonna see a few things um, that are important. The first is you wanna go to the track that you're gonna be using this compression or whatever on. It could be the uh, a master that you end up bouncing out or the mix that you bounce out and you're using it for a master um, or it can be just an individual track which right here I'm just using a little bit of an acapella um, that I have recorded for my new track the tide so we'll listen to the sample here the tide comes in and you'll see I have nothing on the signal chain for that track now if I go in here and I go to utility, input output, and this is a mono uh, signal, so I'm gonna click mono. You can obviously also do this with the stereo signal. Then you have to choose what output of your device and what input you're using. Um, so it is all down to the physical input and output of your hardware device, um, your interface, audio interface. I'm using the Scarlett and today I'm gonna use input and output number three. Okay, and something else that's important is uh, the gain staging. I don't know what the issue is, if it's just the Scarlett or uh, the additional wiring going through what devices I am, but I always have a reduction in audio volume if I leave both the input and output volumes at zero. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna start with this toggled off, I'll play the audio, and then I'll toggle this on and you'll hear the audio volume dip. The tide comes in, let it pull us deeper, our lips swim closer, let my computer's thinking again. I don't know what's going on, it's driving me nuts. So anyway, here we go. You heard that audio volume dip. So uh, I just know from using this device that if I bump up the input volume, the whole way up to plus 12, and my output volume to plus six. Oh. Come on. Then, I, I get an uh, equal input to output volume. Let's hop over here to the hardware compressor side. Now that we have the computer set up the way we want it to. So we're gonna look at this DBX and then this uh, really nice compressor. We have the audio running into both of these. I have them in bypass mode right now. But as so long that the input output on the computer is on, it is gonna send that signal out of the focus right into these units and then back out of these units into the focus right and into Logic Pro. So I'm gonna take this off bypass and let's listen to just this DBX by itself. The tide comes in. You can see here let it pull I'm receiving the whole way up to four in six dBs of gain reduction. Uh, anyway, this is how you run everything. It is 
super cool. You don't have to just use it, obviously, with compressors. I have the EQ here that I've had bypassed for this video. I use the EQ occasionally. You could run delays, you could run reverbs, distortion, anything you really want. If you have a hardware version of it, throw it in um, from your output and in through your input, and really, you're ready to go. So go out there, have fun, practice, and enjoy. Thanks for hanging out. This is DJ Christo Electric, and, well, come and visit me again. Bye-bye.